magician will use this large open-sided cabinet for his first illusion. He walks around to show us that the cabinet is empty. Just to prove it, he climbs up the stairs and onto the platform. Okay, we get the point. He calls for one of his lovely assistants who happens to be wearing an incredibly fancy costume. A curtsy, how charming. She could coax the mask off the Lone Ranger with that outfit. Prom night at the OK Corral. It's elegant, but when it comes to the magician's girls, usually skin is in. I'm sure this outfit is part of this illusion which originally thrilled live audiences in theaters back in the late 1800s. We can see that her fancy hoop skirt completely fills the cabinet. Fortunately for her, she doesn't completely fill the skirt. With the girl in the proper position, it's time to make some magic. The magician reaches up and grabs a cord that hangs from the top of the cabinet. The cord controls a shade that's lowered down in front of the young lady, but not all the way. As we can see, she's still there, and so is her scarlet red, scarlet O'Hara skirt. What could the magician be up to? It's clear he wants us to keep an eye on the girl, and so we will. He grabs the shade and lowers it, as his assistants lower the shades on the other sides. I'm sure the girl in the fancy dress is still inside. Let's have another look. That girl is gone goodbye, fooled me again. Wait, there's our southern belle on the other side of the stage. The parasol completes her dainty outfit. Nice touch. She's ready for a stroll along the mighty Mississippi. Nice going, masked man. Now, show us how you did it. OK, if the girl in the giant skirt completely fills the cabinet, how does the magician make her disappear and reappear on the other side of the stage with lightning speed? The secrets are as elaborate as her costume. First of all, this is no ordinary outfit. Concealed beneath the sash on the girl's waist are four eye hooks. Two in front, and two in back. These hooks are crucial to the secret. The shades are drawn to cover the top half of the girl. This is where the next secret comes into play. Attached to the ceiling of the cabinet are four cables. The girl releases the cables in order to attach them to the four eye hooks on her dress. Once the cables are released, she opens the sash to expose the hooks. Then she quickly snaps the cables over the hooks in front, then behind. She's careful to keep the lines taut while not moving too much. Watch, we can barely see her move. She now opens the back of the costume and prepares to slip out of it. This is one situation where a big skirt and a slender girl come in handy. She climbs down off of the back of the platform. Notice that during the trick, she never seems to stop swaying her skirt. This is to hide her movement as she's getting out of the dress. From the front, her escape isn't visible. There's a secret here, too. A mirror, triggered by one of the other assistants, 
flips down into place and reflects the floor beneath the cabinet. From behind, we see the assistant release the mirror seconds before the girl escapes. Once she's out of the cabinet, only the suspended hoop skirt remains. But when the shades are raised, it's gone. Where does it go? The secret is in the false ceiling hidden in the cabinet. With the shades down, a stagehand in the wings activates an electronic switch, which sends the false ceiling down, crushing the skirt into the base of the platform. See? The ceiling has reduced that big skirt into a small pile of fabric. With the skirt apparently vanished, how does the girl reappear in the same outfit on the other side of the warehouse? Remember the stairs she climbed to reach the platform? They're part of this secret. From behind, we see the girl crawl from the platform into the hollow stairs, just before they're wheeled to the other side of the stage. Pretty sneaky, if you ask me. Once she's here, she climbs out of the stairs and into a duplicate hoop skirt that is waiting behind the prop steamer trunks. Looks like she's had plenty of practice getting dressed quickly in small places. The shades are raised to reveal the empty cabinet, and all the girl has to do is stand up to make her exquisite reappearance. She picks up the parasol as an added bit of dramatic flair and takes her place alongside the magician. The most sophisticated and overdressed assistant in the bunch. But you know her secret. <laughs>